my name is Craig Braybrook. I've been doing bridal and evening wear for over 20 years now. I think for me, because I did evening wear at college for my final collection, I've always loved the, the extravagance and the drama of doing evening wear and bridal was just a natural progression for me. I'm just obsessed with glamour and couture, so everything I do is kind of over the top. It's not really day to day, but it's always for special occasions. And, and I guess that's where bridal is you know, a great thing for me because I get to use extravagant fabrics and stuff that I wouldn't be able to use on ready to wear ranges. I try not to be trend driven. I guess I, I try and make people look the best that they can possibly look. Um, and bridal trends tend to move very slowly, so I guess it's not really fashion that I do. I like to think that I create beautiful things. So my current collection is all white. I've just went to the Greek island, so I've just loved everything about there. We, it, everything's white, very clean, um, simple lines, very crisp. Um, so that's the, the direction I've gone for this collection. I think film will do great things for my work because I think my garments moving always look much better than being static. It's not something that I've really done before, so I'm quite excited to actually see how it transposes to a different medium. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a great thing, I haven't done it, and to actually see my garments in a movie format um, and with someone else kind of like directing it, it will be really interesting, I think. I guess with Fred Hates Fashion, it's a different audience perhaps than what I'm used to. I'm used to doing bridal expos, which are quite generic, um, and it's a particular audience that goes to see them, whereas Fred Hates Fashion is definitely a bit edgier. Um, I'm hoping it's a more arty kind of crowd that go to see it, and I'll you know, showcase my sort of garments that are a bit more left of centre. The first thing I ever made would have been for my interview for RMIT. Um, I couldn't really sew, <laughs> but I bought a sewing machine, actually um, screen printed some fabric and made an outfit and took along to my interview and got into the course, so I did something like that. The past 12 months for me, there's been a big change. I got asked to do the gown for the Miss Universe Australia, and um, I think doing Project Runway as well, my career's kind of gone up again. Um, it's kind of re-energised re me I guess and I'm trying to take things to a different level and a whole new slant on, on my design as well and trying to be more modern. And uh, people think it's really weird when I tell them that I always want to be a dentist. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'd, I'd want to be a cosmetic de dentist and <laughs> make people smile better. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's totally unrelated to fashion. I'm really obsessed about quality and quality workmanship. Um, there's a lot of crap out there I find um, and that really frustrates me so I like to make sure that the things I create are beautifully made, fit beautifully um, and use exquisite fabrics. But I love making things so I guess fashion's in my blood.